Dear brothers in Christ, we are up against a rapidly changing situation which is very challenging. If the horror out of Italy is any indication, our older members are probably at great risk. We're all up against a couple of hidden attacks, the virus and the evil one. It's time for us to use all of our pastoral care competencies. Folks are burdened by anxiety, loneliness, and fear. False gods are falling on every hand. False faith is proving to be the lie it always was. Short-tempered selfishness flares up even in the most beautiful and harmonious families and congregations. Thank you for faithfully serving the Lord's dear lambs and sheep. They need Jesus' word, his forgiveness, peace, and joy. And so do you. This is where the pastor sits at our Savior Lutheran Church, where I serve as associate pastor. It's comforting and beautiful that here is the depiction of Christ, his cross becoming the tree of life, and this is where the pastor sits. I find it really comforting to sit here because then I lean back on Jesus. His scarred hands are reaching out, blessing me and the congregation. It's like that image in Revelation chapter 1 where John sees the seven stars, that is the pastors of the churches, in the right hand of Jesus. Brothers, as you serve in these chaotic days, Jesus, who is never in a panic, holds you. He carries you in his right hand. A few days ago, I sent an email about Elsa Litwin. She learned that before serving soup to fellow hungry German war refugees, she had to eat the first bowl herself. We must learn from Elsa. We must receive first. You are not enough for this crisis or for any crisis. You have nothing to give of yourself that will be of any lasting value. But your Lord is enough. Enough for you, enough for all you are called to serve. Receive your Lord's word of forgiveness, peace, comfort, strength, and hope every day. Every spoonful of his Holy Spirit-filled word will give you the strength and encouragement you need for these gray and latter days when it appears that nearly everything is shaken. Remember who you are, a precious son of your heavenly Father who will never leave you or forsake you. Remember who he's called you to be, a servant of Christ, and a steward of the mysteries of God to burden souls. Hal, Bev, and I are thankful for your creative, faithful service in these trying times. And we look forward to the day when we can gather together again as a doxology family. We commend you into the care of Christ Jesus, who died and rose and lives and ever keeps you in his right hand.